Welcome everyone. I am back. Today is July the 3rd, 2022. Guess what? Yeah, JP Morgan said that they see a 40% rebound in Apple stock by year end. So that's six months. Are they right? Could we see Apple stock higher 40% by the end of this year? Guess what? We should be able to tell from the price chart whether or not that's applicable. If it's possible, can we see it happen? And I'm going to show you all that today on my video. So welcome everyone to my channel. This is HFN, also known as Chief News. I do the price predictions. I come through and I make sure that what people are saying in terms of their price targets, if it's actually correct. All right. So if you guys want to join me, go ahead and hit that like button. Should have been also subscribed to the channel. Tap that bell notification as well because I am not here to confuse you. I don't give you no discount cash flow model. I don't come in and revamp and manipulate numbers to try to convince you all that this is where the price is going to be in 5, 10, 15 years. No, I simply look at what everyone else is doing. Yeah, like JP Morgan, they're looking for a 40% rebound in Apple stock. Well, guess what? If that's the side that they're playing, we should be able to see that on the chart. If they're buying the market in Apple. Because if they're looking for the price to increase, then that means that they need to be buying the stock now if they're looking for a 40% rebound by the end of the year. But the chart is already showing that like, they will have to be getting in position now. So let's talk about it. But before I do, like I always show you all on all of my videos, I come through and I rehearse. Well, not rehearse. I come through and we review the price action from my original price prediction. Now you guys can see I did a video in Apple on June the 4th, right? Update video telling you all that the market in Apple was still primed to go lower, okay? Because I originally had this price prediction ever since May, okay? You guys can see it. Go back and look at all my other videos. It's still there. It's in my Apple stock playlist. I keep everything in order so that you all can play along and see what's really been going on so yeah i've been playing the weakness into the market apple you guys can see on june the 4th the price was still weak and price did go down now it only went all the way down to 130 okay market so far has not gone to my ultimate tp price of around 125 it hasn't it only came down to 130 now did you go listen to my last video was that a price target that I had in the market of Apple? Because as I expect prices to move, I give us certain levels for us to profit off of as the decline happens so that we can eat on the way down. Do you think Apple's stock price is still going to run down to 125? Because if so, then guess what? My price prediction is still on point. We just need to keep it there and don't need to talk about anything. But you see, JP Morgan is talking about how investors are too worried about Apple, that they see a 40% rebound before year end. This was just two days ago on CNBC. This is the link right here. Now, are they trying to trick us? Because you gotta think, when you're in the game to make money, the only way that you can make money in the stock market is by taking it for somebody else. That's it. So JP Morgan is trying to create news that Apple is going to be 40% higher. Now let's see where that would be from where the last trade was on last week on where 40% lies. At what price? Okay. So look at this. In the next six months, they're looking for Apple to be trading. You see that? $195 by the end of the six months, by the end of 2022. They're looking for the price to be around $200. Wow. Is it possible? Can the market in Apple run up 40% in the next six months? Because this past six months has been going the opposite direction. If Apple goes up 40%, then that means that the overall stock market will be going up too. All right? So they're looking for the price to run up to 195, 194. Cool. Now let's get back to the chart because we can look at this on a six month chart to see whether or not the chances of seeing Apple run up to 200, 195 is possible. So this is the last completed six months price bar, right? And I get it. 
Apple is one of the most formidable stocks of not reacting negatively to all of the effects of the economy, of inflation, of interest rates, whatever. People hold this stock. I get it. I understand. But look at this. The last six months in Apple, right? We saw the market give us a very widespread down. The market currently is down 23% over the last six months. 23%. We saw the market on the previous six months ride up, but only to come back down. We definitely need to see the buyers come into the market. And I can tell you that this is where they're trying to keep price right here. That is where the buyers are trying to keep price from falling in Apple. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you in the next six months, if the market in Apple breaks below that 125 price that I have, JP Morgan is wrong in the next six months that it's not going to go up to 195. So. Let's go ahead and look at this on the three months then. I want us to see, are there any indications that the market is showing us some strength? Are we seeing buyers coming to the market? Because if so, then JP Morgan is definitely mixed in buying up the stock because they're looking for it to go to 195. This is the three months price bar right here. And I really don't see it. Do you? Do you think that the market price in Apple is about to go up to 195? Like for real? Are you noticing that on a long term basis? Because I don't see it. So I'm definitely questioning whether or not Apple or JP Morgan is telling us the truth. Look at this. The trend that Apple was following on this three month price bar, which started all the way back in October of 2020, is broke. That's a problem for us to see the market, even in Apple, to go up to 195, 194. We have to see the market now break above this trend line. We broke it the last three months. So what in the world is JP Morgan talking about? They're trying to trick us, seems like to me. It looked like they're trying to fool us into thinking that Apple's going to run up to 195. We have some hurdles that we need to cross before we even consider price running up 40 percent. Just keeping it real. Everyone has their own true intentions. Right. JB Morgan is in the business to make money for them and for their investors. Why would they come out and create articles and tell people on CNBC and conduct videos and say, this is where we're looking for the price to go? Because it's showing them their hand. What is their true objective for real? Because I really think that if they're looking for the stock to run up 40 percent, that they're willing to sell at 20 yeah. See, you might see the market price in Apple run up 20 percent, but they said 40. Yeah, but it will only run up to 20 to 166 and they'll sell their stock there. But they told you today that six months down the road that they're looking for a 40 percent rebound and nobody won't even question it. They won't even think about it. They won't even ding them. They won't even act like they never even said it. So now. What do you think to me? I think it's going to have some issues to run up 40 percent for real. Now, can we see 20 percent run up? Yeah, we can, of course. But we'll be in position to see that happening way before the market even anticipate that it's going to run up 20 percent. But as of right now, I'm still going to continue to look for the price in Apple to go lower. Now, if you took that profit at 130, like I told you on my last video, you already got seven and three quarters of a percent. That's how you're able to play this game. Because the overall market has reflected that buyers are now trying to come in right now. I get it. I can see it. Look at this. The buyers are coming into the market now in Apple. Maybe it might be JP Morgan. Who knows? But I still suspect that the market is still generally weak. So congratulations to those who came in and chopped off a little bit of profitability around 130 because at least you won. You won the first quarter. OK, so what do you all think? Where do you think the market in Apple is still headed? I still think that there's a little bit of weakness here. I'm not going to change my price prediction. I am going to continue to keep it on. I am not going to reduce it. Still looking for the market to try to tag out around 125 and Apple stock price. So I'm going to extend this out a little bit further. Okay. Now, 
let's say that in the upcoming week, two weeks, the market in Apple begins to go up. I get it. We can see that. But until we see the market really break above 154, that would take the market all the way up there to that 20% price that I told you all about. Remember? That's around 50% run up. There's definitely the market opportunity for us to see that. Okay, so I am here. I am not going to change it though. Still looking for the market to go a little bit lower in price, especially on a three to six months time frame. But Apple sees 40%. What do you all think? Let me know. Leave me a comment. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.